to my uh, colleague. Uh, she supports me here to guarantee everything okay. So today we will talk about uh, Ba Gua Zhang, the eight uh, tra uh, track rhymes poem, a very popular traditional style in Wushu. I have a two times class in this online course. So for today's class, I will give you a brief introduction of uh, uh, Ba Gua Zhang. Okay, from the origin, the main schools, and the characteristics of Ba Gua Zhang. And for the next time, uh, I will uh, continue going to the relationship between Ba Gua Zhang and uh, the eight track rhyme theory. The other thing we will talk about the um, healthy, um, healthy building effect of practicing Ba Gua Zhang. Uh, for each class, uh, I will get you to do some basic movements uh, after the lecture. This is my plan. I hope you like it. Okay, after a while, I will change to uh, my computer to share my uh, PowerPoint to you, okay? Okay. 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 Uh, I found my uh, my sound from the, from my phone. Just wait a moment. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? It's okay. Okay. Uh, so, Ba Gua Zhang, I think it's a wonderful work in a Wushu family. And also recognized uh, as the three internal styles. Uh, as you know, the three internal style is a Xing Yi, Tai Ji, and Ba Gua. When we mention about uh, Ba Gua Zhang, for the Chinese people, they might be think of a Kung Fu movie. Uh, the name is Wu Lin Zhi. The English, uh, English name is uh, Deadly Fury. So it was shot in the 1980s, last century. Please look at this picture. Uh, do you know this uh, performer? Uh, I know him when I was uh, training Wushu uh, in Beijing Shanghai Sports School. Uh, this is a coach Lee. Uh, the story of Deadly Fury tell us a Wushu master beat his rival, a strongman from the Russia, in a bitter fighting with Ba Gua Zhang. With this film, uh, the Ba Gua Zhang become more popular in China. Uh, some years ago, a very famous film director Wang Jiawei bring another uh, Kung Fu movie to us. He spent more than three years to visit uh, the folk master, uh, Wuchu master, okay, and uh, to shot the saxophone is uh, the unique practicing style and the healthy building and the combined value. The Ba Gua Zhang has been passed down from generation to generation and become a very, very good and very excellent styles in Wushu. And right now, Ba Gua Zhang has been set as an official event in the World Wushu Championship. Okay, now let us to say the origin of the Ba Gua Zhang. About the origin of Ba Gua Zhang, uh, for most of the people think Ba Gua Zhang was created in the Qing Dynasty. Uh, the founder is Dong Hai Chuan. Uh, he is from Wen'an country, Hebei province today. And uh, when he was a child, uh, he developed a very strong interest in martial arts. So uh, he traveled around uh, many places to show uh, his re respect to the 
a famous master and uh, to visit some master friends. He practiced many different styles. Uh, fortunately, he met the Yunpan Laozu at the Jiu uh, Huashan, uh, Anhui Province uh, of China. It's a very famous mountain in, in China. Uh, the Yunpan Laozu imparted uh, his skill to Dong Haichuan. After that, uh, Dong Haichuan sorted out a completely set of styles. Uh, it is Ba Gua Zhang. Okay, about uh, the legendary life of Dong Haichuan, uh, it has been uh, recorded in many literary works. Uh, the most famous of the long story, Tong Lin Zhuan, the book of Tong Lin, it uh, is based on the life of Dong Haichuan. Uh, it is a sign that Dong Haichuan has been uh, served as a lower official uh, in the uh, Su Wang Mansion House in Beijing. Uh, during this period, his super of Kung Fu got the appreciation from Su Wang. So Su Wang ordered him to be a Kung Fu teacher in his house. Uh, when he uh, turned out, he quit his job and began teaching Ba Gua Zhang on a full-time basis. So uh, many excellent practitioners uh, come to Dong Haichuan and learned Ba Gua Zhang from him. Now, with the individual the teaching skills, they gradually uh, established their own styles and uh, exercising my search. Okay, for example, uh, please look at this picture. Uh, this is a Mr. Yin Fu. As a senior student of Dong Haichuan, he practiced Shaolin style in the early years, and he especially good at Luo Han style and Tan Tui. Another famous student of Dong Haichuan is Mr. Cheng Tinghua. Uh, he was known as Glass Cheng. Do you know why? Okay, just because uh, he uh, once earned his life uh, with an eyeglass shop. So someone said, the Bagua Zhang of Cheng tops the world of martial arts. People cannot talk about Bagua Zhang uh, without mentioning Glass Cheng. So, uh, Cheng Tinghua, Mr. Cheng Tinghua, uh, he has uh, uh, passed down his skill to many students and uh, let uh, the Cheng style Ba Gua Zhang become more popular. This part is about the uh, schools and, uh, and the style characteristics of Ba Gua Zhang. With hundreds of years of history, Ba Gua Zhang has developed into many schools, including Yin style, Cheng style, Zhang style, Shi style, and Liang, and many other styles. But uh, Yin style and Cheng style are the most uh, famous ones in these different styles. So right now, let us to say what's the difference between the Yin and the Cheng. Uh, this is the yin style. You can say in the style, uh, niu she zhang. Okay, the palm like a bull tongue as a prominent feature uh, for yin style. And uh, normally, the natural step in footwork. And for yin style, the movement very quickly, very quickly. Okay, next, let us to say the cheng style. Uh, I practice cheng style. For Cheng style, Long Zhao Zhang, this is a Long Zhao Zhang, palm like dragon claw as the basic palm shape. For Cheng style, you can say the movement very uh, stretch and uh, beautiful. And the step, uh, you need to bend your knee to walking and just uh, uh, like uh, walking on the mart. So we call it Tang Ni Bu. Okay, after a while, I will uh, get you to do some basic steps. Uh, the contents of Ba Gua Zhang has been uh, enriched with the inheritance and the development. But uh, no matter uh, which schools, 
the basic form of old schools include ba ba shi, uh, also called a fixed palm uh, posture, and lao ba zhang, uh, or you can call the eight palm of changing movement, and also have uh, 64 palms, also known as 64 hands. Of course, we also have uh, the bare hands routines, such like a yu shen ba gua zhang or ba gua lian huan zhang, serial uh, ba gua zhang, okay? And uh, some weapons routines, such like a zi wu yuan yang yu, uh, or pan guan bi, or some long weapon, uh, like uh, ba gua dao, ba gua sword, or ba gua street sword, or the ba gua spear. Okay. So in generally speaking, uh, Ba Gua Zhang has a distinctive school characteristics and a well-established inheritance uh, genealogy. Until now, it can provide many values and functions in fighting skills, healthy building, and aesthetics. aesthetics. OK, so after this, a uh, brief introduction. I hope you can get uh, some uh, uh, basic knowledge about uh, the Ba Gua Zhang. And uh, we will go into the training. Are you ready to go training? Okay, uh, before uh, we go training, I would like to introduce uh, the practice movements for today. Okay. Uh, there are two steps, two basic steps here. First, we need to know uh, what is Tang Ni Bu, uh, also called the mud wading steps. Uh, for the beginner, uh, it would better uh, start from the straightforward steps. And when you get a good feeling about the straightforward steps, we can go into the circling walking, a little bit difficult, okay? And the, the next, let's wait a moment. Okay, the next basic uh, step is a bai kou bu. Uh, this is a very important uh, step uh, for ba gua zhang uh, because if we want to change the movement or change another direction, we need to use these steps. Uh, after the basic steps training, uh, we will go into the main contents for today's class. I hope introduce uh, the eight fix the uh, palm to you. Uh, today we will uh, to practice the first poster. The name is Xia Ta Zhang, Down Falling Palm, and the next one. It's a second uh, posture, double upholding palm, shuang tuo zhang. Okay, if we have enough time, we will go into the third. We will go into the third posture, double carrying palm, shuang bao zhang. Okay, so this is our uh, practice movement for today. So right now, let us go for training. Are you ready to go training? And uh, uh, three millions for warm up by yourself. I need change to uh, my smartphone, okay? Okay, so what I'm going to tell them because, uh, you know, in Bangla, we have many movements. We need to turn our body, our joint. So please uh, warm up with your uh, waist, your ankle, and your knees, uh, your waist, especially your waist, okay? Yeah, and do some strides.
with your body and you can do a strength now right now with the circle yeah i'm ready are you ready so first uh we will practice the basic steps uh, uh we start from the straightforward uh, steps first i will show you how to do the movement and then i will tell you the key points Okay. Uh, in my place, holding on the three steps. Okay, on your hand. It's the same like the shoulder. And bend your arms and you click them. Okay, look straight. And then go. One, two, three. Okay. And then I have to stand. Ready? Go. One, two, three, ten. Okay, for the straight forward steps, okay, I want to tell you, uh, you should uh, keep your body straight, up body and then upright and then your chin a little bit go inside and make your body straight uh bend your knee it depends on uh, your ability you can do a little bit higher or lower it depends on uh, your ability okay so when you go for forward steps uh, please keep your foot uh, parallel with the ground this is a ground and this is the foot. When you foot almost touch the ground, your full foot go a little bit forward. Okay, such like uh, you're walking on the mud like this. Okay, one more time, please. Okay, so up and bend your arm and push down. Okay, go. One, two, three. Okay. When you come to the knee, use the left hand like this. And then turn the body to stop the ankle distance. And you go. One, two, three. Turn. Okay. And turn. Okay. So for training, you can do a straight line for many steps. Uh, I can't do that. It's, uh, it's because the space uh, is not enough. Uh, to, uh, it's not big enough. Okay. Uh, for this is uh, the straight forward steps. Mm. For the beginner, uh, at, the, uh, at the beginning, maybe you will feel it's difficult to control your balance. Maybe you will uh, go left and right or forward, backward like this. And also uh, you will have, uh, you can't keep the same level uh, like this. Okay, maybe go up or down. Uh, just uh, the throw uh, about uh, one week, two week, uh, you will get very good feeling. Uh, when you get good feeling, we will go into the circle walking, circle walking, that is a very important for uh, the Bagua Zhang, you know, because you can say the Bagua Zhang is always uh, around the circle. Okay, so right now let us say how to make the circle. Mm, I think I need a, a one bottle of the water at the center. It's okay, this is my circle center.
And then you move on to the chain. Another invention means use the uh, locking set of the chain. Okay, and uh, push your hands with a circle and the other dog quickly close your stabilize and then move on to the right and chain another direction. And then turn to the center. Continue. Go. Another direction. Now, hope you make sense. Okay, for making the circle steps, please remember in the inside leg, you go straight, but the outside leg, when you go forward steps, uh, you should make your foot a uh, little bit turn to the inside. So you can make the circle, okay? So inside like go straight and outside like little bit turn to the center. Uh, one more time with me together. Uh, this time I will uh, have uh, the same uh, direction with you. Okay. Right now, change with the key step of your right hand. Push with your legs, make a little circle, a little circle, and the other line quickly close to the stable line. Okay, one more time. And one and under the hands, and then go another side. Okay. Okay. Um, it's a, uh, it's okay for you. Uh, can you see me to do the uh, circle? Okay. I can't see. Uh, I can't see you. Okay. So right now, uh, after the Tang Li Bu, Tang Li Bu, we will continue going to the next. Uh, Basic steps, by code. That's now I said to you. This is a very important step uh, for changing movement and changing uh, another direction. Okay, look at me. First, also we need bend our knees like this. Okay. Uh, the first, this is the outside. Outside, you can say uh, we call it a spinning. Spinning step and another leg okay, with a locking step. Okay, one, two. Okay, one, two. Of course, you can change to another leg. Okay, one outside, two. One, spinning. Two, walking, one, and two. Okay, with this step, you can change another direction. Okay, for the movement, uh, when you do the Bagua routine, uh, you will often use this step. And uh, I want to show you uh, how to practice this movement with the Dan Huan Zhao, okay? This is the key step, that's all. I told you, uh, locking step. They also have a, another shape of the, uh, of the locking step. This is the fast step. Okay. Uh, do you know the Chinese character? Fast, okay, look at my foot. Okay, my knees closed and uh, my uh, foot like this. Look at, look like my character. Fast, okay. And with this movement, you can try to use the key step. Okay, with the this is the yang zhong, means twist your elbow, your arm. Okay, okay. and with the big 
your head, push forward, push the car upside down. Okay, this is a fast step with your head. Turn, cross. Okay, one more time, one more time. Inside. Okay, follow. One, two. So, you have to need turn your body. One more time, I go slow. Okay, cool. You know, this one, and this is the twist, yeah. And five. With your hand, push upside. And then, cool. With your hand, turn. And it runs. Okay, with your hand, go across and drop up. You do this. This is for the basic side. The basic side. Okay. Uh, the normal speed with me. Normal speed. Okay. Seven. One. Okay. Cool. Nice. Right. One more time. Okay. So, ready? Okay. Go. One. You got it? So, okay, this is for the uh, basic steps, the Tang Li Bu, uh, from the straight forward steps and the going to the uh, circle uh, walking steps. Uh, okay, uh, of course, uh, you need training the basic steps uh, for the everyday, not only uh, in my class. Uh, one time, uh, two times is it's not uh, okay. <laughs> it's no use. Okay, we need doing the basic uh, for the everyday. So uh, right now, let us go into the main uh, contents of the eight big palm. The first palm just now I show you. It's a xia ta zhang. This is a xia ta zhang. Okay, uh, you should remember make your shoulder down. And push your hand go down low, and your arms make a circle. Yes, like this. Okay, and bend, bend your knee, bend your knee. And when you want to uh, training, you need to turn your body to the center. Okay, so for walking around the circle, I think it's uh, uh, through your training is not a uh, very difficult. Uh, for each palm, I think the, the difficult point is how to change uh, another direction. So I will give you more uh, to show to show more time to how to change uh, the other direction. Okay. So also with me to practice the first palm. Okay. So bend your palm. And push down. Okay, take the body off and then turn the body. Okay, then you go. Normally, do the eight steps on the foot. So we need the eight steps with the tip. You from here and uh, push with your rest a little bit further. Okay, circle and quickly uh, close to your feet. On the time, maybe those three you can run the clear, right? So from here, you can see that uh, this is a key side. So here and uh, push your hand with your rest. Turn, turn, and close. So close to another line. Okay. One, two. With the anchor distance. Okay, when you want to go another direction, heel down. Let your heel down and turn your body. You can go. You can go. 
Okay. This is the first part. Do you know how to change the other direction? If you just, uh, if you make sense, uh, I will go into the next part. Or maybe you need uh, two more time for this one. One more time, okay? This is the first pun. We call it xiang ta dang. Xiang ta dang. Okay, you can see. This is the xiang ta dang. And the second, the second poster is a trunk quarter. Just now I show you in the PPT, you can say it's a trunk quarter. We also call it a ba pu zhai. Maybe translate in English is a, a eagle to showing the wings. Like this, okay. So also with this is back, this is back here, and look at my head. You need to turn your body to the center, okay. So with this posture, we go around the circle, okay. So with me together. After I will tell you how to uh, change from the first part. So we just uh, from here to go one. Okay. It's also stuff we want to check. So to inside my control. Okay, and then you can change with the push your head. Okay, your hand, okay, your hand from your small finger, okay, to do the uh, I don't know how to, how to translate, but cross from your waist, cross your from your waist and back for your head and forward to do the cut up and open and turn. Okay, I show you the cut. Okay, so from here to go. And we don't want to change. We don't want to change. It's your piece back and turn backward with your side forward and forward and three to open your arm and four to turn to the center. So if you follow you change another direction. Okay, very good. So one more time with me together. Okay, go. Turn. 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 Okay. Do you need I show you one more time how to change the other direction? Okay, I close my smartphone, let you uh, go clear. Okay, from here, from here. Okay, with the face back, your hand a little bit uh, close and turn your finger cross from your wrist cross from your legs and turn your body, your head backward with your step forward and the next step with your hand close together. Okay, close together and the three steps open and the, the fourth step turn your body. Okay, you found, if you found, 
want to change. Very good. Okay. Uh, let me to show you the normal speed for this movement. Okay. From here. Okay. Step and go. Did you say the last movement? Okay, one more time. Okay, from here, step and one. It's okay for you. Okay, so now I I want to tell you from the first palm how to change to the the second palm. Okay, the first from here from here when we turn. Uh, okay, so from here we turn to another way, and the same thing turn when you turn. Okay, your hand from here, from here, open with your step, with your step one, step two, step three, two, five. Okay, this is the, from the first to second. One more time. Okay, that's how you speak. Uh, the right way, uh, the right, uh, right, and then okay, one, two, three, four, five, and three, uh, two, four, 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 four. Okay, so for training, uh, whatever you need to do, the straightforward steps. Or you make the circle around. You can do many, many circles, many, many steps. Uh, but uh, uh, if you want to change, you need with the, uh, the basic step by Kobu, and you go change. When you're training, please uh, to go the uh, the same circle. For example, if you go left circle for ten times, and you also need to go the right circle for ten times. And uh, if you have uh, the same ability for the left and right. Okay, make sense? Or you need uh, to do, uh, uh, you, you need uh, me to show more time, or you can training uh, two millions by yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, let us uh, to reveal uh, from the basic now to the, the second uh, the palm. Okay, one more time from the beginning. Okay, straight to the forward step. Go. Okay, this is a straight forward step, and uh, for the uh, walking. A circle walking with from the first part. Okay, so hands to me. This time, turn your body. One. My second Okay. 
to another direction. Okay. So, and uh, the other uh, very uh, important step is a by code book. Okay, we will with the some time to practice these steps. First, with the two steps and uh, your analysis. Okay, and one, two, turn your body. When you turn, please remember, you also need to keep your body straight. Can you always keep your body straight? Okay, one more time. One more time. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, you can say uh, you practice hip step, fast step, and the bending step. Uh, normal speed is here together. Ready. Okay, go. One, go. One more time. Ready. One, go. Okay. You best to turn to turn your best to the center. Okay. So uh, we still have uh, some time, right? Did you make sense about the basic steps uh, and uh, the basic palm? I fixed the palm, uh, the first one and the second one. Okay, so if you feel good, we can continue going to the third posture, the front bound. Front bound. Okay, like this. We also call it Chi Zi Zhang Kou, the line open uh, its mouth. Okay, Chi Zi Zhang Kou. From the front border, you can change to the third part directly. So you can say you change to the third posture and with the circle. Okay, please with me together. From here, your right hand is more part to cover your head, cover your head, and also turn the center and then you go. Okay. And when you want to change, we also need with the uh, by Kofu and with the, uh, to change your movement. Okay, one more time with the simple order. Turn Okay. Uh, when you do the kiss, uh, 
uh, sister, please make your right hand up and go down and ready to do the cut, to do the cut with your step, to do the cut. Okay, and then make your make your hand face and the, the other leg follow your forward line. Okay, and the right hand to go. Okay. okay, so with this one, we also call it Gunlian Ge Tang. Okay, for, for me, it's difficult to translate with English, but uh, please remember this is a cut, cut form with your hair. Yeah, and to do the cut like this cut and face your, face your arm and ready to go another side. This is the, the third part. The name is Zhuang Bao Zhang. Okay, did you make sense? Uh, with me together. Uh, for next time, I will uh, reveal, get you to reveal those uh, basic parts and then we go into the new uh, posture. So for the third part, we do one more time. And okay, go. Okay, and with your uh, tip steps, hands go and then cross with your forward steps, and then to face your arm, and then swing your leg, and then go. You change, you change to another direction. Okay, uh, did you make sense? I hope you like it. I hope you like it. So, give you two minutes to uh, to feeling uh, the basic movements for today. Uh, Okay, hello. For this content, for those content of uh, today, uh, do you uh, need to practice more? Or maybe you have some uh, question to ask? Um, okay, so I think uh, today- I'm Sorry, here uh, just wait a moment. I can't uh, hear, uh, hear you. Uh, Hello. Um, hello, Miss Montal. So today our class is about to finish, right? Uh, I, I want to know if uh, uh, if uh, if the um, audience they want me to show more movements, I can go uh, to show uh, because yeah. I know I I have a, a one hour for this training. Yeah, exactly. So, um, is, does anyone need our instructor to um, demonstrate more movements for you uh, to review this lecture or not? Or we can simply just get into the QA session. Um, I think people probably have some questions. So if you have any questions, you can raise your hand to let me know and I'll cancel the mute for you. Uh, I'm so sorry. So you mean uh, they want me to show the uh, more details or more uh, more uh, movements? Um, currently, we didn't receive any feedback. Oh, I saw the someone uh, said yes uh, on at the chatting um, platform. So please, uh, yeah, just do some movements to help them to review the class. Uh, to reveal, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay. So for today, uh, we learned the first palm, 
a second and a third. So for these uh, three uh, pumps, uh, I will uh, get you to do more time, okay? Uh, the first, I th uh, is this okay for you if I, I don't do the circle, I only do the how to change. I think uh, it's more important for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so for the first pump, first pump, okay, when you want to change, and with your key step, okay, to make circle, to push, okay, to push, and this uh, like quickly follow your stable line, and then you change to another direction with the empty stance, and you can go another side. This is the first posture. And the second, a little bit, uh, little bit difficult, I think, just a little bit. From here, with the step, key step, and your finger go inside and cross from your waist, turn your body, okay, with your hand backward and forward steps, okay. With the step, you do the cut and the step, you open and the, the next step, you turn to the center. One more time. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, with the four steps, change to another direction. For the third palm, okay, Shi Zi Zhang Tong from here. With your step, your hands go down and step forward with your hand cut. Okay, and drawing your step with your hand twist and ready to go with your step. So you can change another direction. Okay, so I think uh, that's all for today's class. Uh, in the next uh, um, time, if you like, we will have more times to go training. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.